But um, listen up, casuals. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the the comic book origins of of the Suicide Squad. Uh, we don't we don't have to get very deep here. We just want to kind of give you guys an idea of uh, what books are out there, kind of some key issues, if if you know what and whatnot. So let's talk about the very very first appearance of the Suicide Squad. Now, this original team was not really the iteration that we know of today with like spies and this this team that goes in and just um, does crazy stuff. It's definitely evolved over the years, especially with Austria and run. But uh, initially it was uh, it was created in the Brave and the Bold number 25 and that was in 1959 uh, by Robert Kegner and Ross and Andrew. And so when the like the familiar name we'll have here is Rick Flag Jr. Yeah, so there is a constant. Uh, Rick Flag Jr. is a character in that, uh, and whatever they do when they retcon everything in the future, and and you know as they do in DC Comics, anyhow. Um, but the team that we're talking about today has a much you know a, a different origin. So we want to call it kind of the the modern uh, origin of the Suicide Squad, and that was in Legends number three in 1987, uh, and that as I've mentioned was by John Ostrander, and so. I, I'm going to be a little geek. I'm going to show you Legends number is. three. Wow. You can do this, you know, on some shows. I don't have a, a lot of older comics, but some I really have chased down if they were, you know, easier at the time and whatnot. So, so that comic there, that mm -hmm. is the first appearance of what we know now as the modern Suicide Squad. Yes. So Amanda who, Waller. Okay. That, but that kind of, that Amanda Waller. The, they're going on the suicide missions so that that concept was not really part of what that original classic team was this new interpretation is like you said what we know of today gotcha so is there are there any other so besides waller is there anyone else that we would know on the team based on the movies the new movies both of them yes uh so let's i also have suicide squad number one Oh, wow. And so this this came out in 1987, yeah. and this is by John Ostrander, Luke McDonald, and Carl Kessel. I'm not sure how often the art, you know, the art team changed, but Ostrander wrote this entire run. It's about uh, 66 issues. Yep. Um, so you mentioned who's on the team. Uh, if you've seen the first movie, you know Deadshot, Captain mm -hmm. Boomerang, Enchantress, um, Rick Flag Jr. Mm -hmm. And that that's pretty much it. Uh, you have like Bronze Tiger, Lee Plastique, uh, and a couple other characters. So, and if if you did you ever watch, um, I know you watched Arrow. I know you're a big CW fan. We don't have to go into that. But the Arrow, <laughs> do you remember the Suicide Squad episode from the Arrow? Task Force I'm S? A, uh, what season? I don't know. They introduced them kind of early with that shot. I don't know if it was in the oh, first yeah, two seasons. Yes. I remember Deadshot very specifically in Arrow. Yep. Um, and I remember I didn't remember Deadshot as a member of the Suicide Squad at that time. I recognized uh, Deadshot as a villain um, for Arrow due to the Batman Arkham series. There you go. Like I was like, oh, this is Deadshot. Deadshot is in the Batman Arkham series. Like I didn't put together Suicide Squad. Yeah. So Deadshot. Was a, a Batman villain. I think his first mm -hmm. appearance is in Batman at some point. Um, and so he's always kind of been the leader of the villain leader, I guess. The guy who leads the team, uh, usually in most versions of, even when they rebooted it in 2011, mm -hmm. that's when Harley Quinn joined the team. Mm -hmm. uh, so when you have the new 52, they're trying something brand new. So that, that stuck, you know, from... The little experiment there with Harley Quinn, as we've seen in both movies yeah. and in the comics now, which is great. Um, give it up to Margot Robbie for that. I mean, she brought Harley Quinn to life. Exactly. Um, and we'll we'll talk about we'll talk about her. Yeah, and and when we talk about the movies, definitely. But one other character was Bronze Tiger, uh, and he was played by Michael J. White on the in the Arrow person. Michael J. White's a great actor, um, good martial artist. Yeah. And he, they actually put him on that team. So that was a cool little throwback that we, we had one of the original team members in that in that iteration. So uh, one other thing from the Ostrander run, and this is this is for you especially because I know you love this. Um, 
there is a special first appearance of a character. Uh, her name is Oracle. And so this is the very first time that Barbara Gordon is Oracle in the comic books. And this Crazy. is Suicide Squad number 23. Yeah. Wow. So she th is that is that Oracle's first appearance, Barbara Gordon as Oracle? Yes. Wow. So this was so then that would be timed after my favorite comic, which is The Killing Joke. Exactly. So she's she's taking on a new uh persona in the wheelchair and that's 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 the first appearance. So it's funny how it how that character just showed up randomly in, in the Suicide Squad um, for her first time as Oracle. So I yeah. love that. And that's why it's kind of funny to try to track down some older issues when you get sure. these first appearances that aren't like, oh, number one or whatever. So um, yeah, little fun, little fun thing to share with you there, uh, Batgirl fan. That's, yeah, for those of you that don't know that are listening, I am a very big Batgirl fan. Um, I love the character. I love the complexity. Um, I, I really love Barbara Gordon. Um, I think she's a badass. Um, and when she's written correctly, um, to be honest with you, I, I, I think that her iteration in Titans is my favorite I've ever seen on screen, period. Um, so, yes, uh, hearing about her first appearance as Oracle, that's, that's pretty, it's pretty badass. Yeah, what a what a solid performance, and I, I forget the actress's name, but this this season of Titans has been better than the first two seasons combined. So agreed. It's uh, if you heard bad things, give it another try. Good time. Defat Entertainment.